Vargas. There could be better times to bring bad news to this house. I know, I know. Muchas gracias. Manuel, gracias por todo. Lo siento mucho, María. Vamos. Buenas tardes, Rafael. Buenas tardes, señor Rumbalba. Uh, this is Senor Vargas. He's chief accountant for Don Alejandro. He's leaving in the morning for Mexico City and wants to talk with you. I'm sorry to disturb you at a time like this. You know that, Rafael. It is nothing. Yes, Patron? It concerns a black cow that carries the Videgaray brand, and also an R brand. Your name is Rosillo? Yes, Patron. And the cow you speak of is mine. She was given to me by Don Alejandro during the last tienta. I think you misunderstood him. But she's our cow, and she's old. She's so old, she's carrying her last calf right now. A calf? Nardo, you will not speak disrespectfully to the Patron. I presume you count the calf to be yours too, eh? When it is born, yes. The calf is to be mine. I'm certain the calf belongs to the ranch, and I shall enter it into the books as such when it is born. It's a bad thing having a cow on a ranch that belongs to someone else. Come, farmer, let's go. They won't take our cow from us or our calf either, will they? After all we have lost today, son, would it be surprising we should lose our cow also? One's whole life is a loss, my son. My beautiful Diablo. Buenos días, papá. Buenos días, María. Where's Leonardo? Still sleeping.
Maria. Maria, come here. Come here. Leonardo. Leonardo. Papa, lightning had struck a tree. And our cow died just as I reached her. So I brought him home. Leonardo, get dressed. It's back to school today. But I must take care of him. He'll need some help. What strength! <laughs> what a voice, like the bugles of Zapata. He'll be brave, Papa. All sons of Valiente are brave. So was our cow. You know, Father, she bore for help. She wouldn't die till I came. The cow was brave. This one would make a fine brave boy. He knows me. Do I have to go to school today? Do I? Would you be like your parents, mm -hmm. unable to read or write? Leonardo, you'll be late for school. He wants me to pet him. He's hungry. He wants to suckle you. Papa, can I keep him here in the house? For a time, it will be necessary. Can I call him Gitano? Gitano? Gypsy? A fighting bull should have a fighting name, something to put fear into the soul. But he is a gypsy. He was all alone in the night, with no mother, a wanderer in the storm. Truly a gypsy. As you wish. With such a name, he may grow up to be very clever. Hitano! Hitanito! My little gypsy. He's hungry. Come, Elisa. Leonardo, bring out your hungry gypsy. Hurry, good breakfast, Titano. Hold oh, still, Elisa. No. Elisa has no motherly feelings. Enjoy your breakfast, Titano. <laughs> And now, children, can you tell me whose picture is that? The Eagle White. That is correct. And now, if you look in your books, you'll find Maximilian. Maximilian sailed across the sea with the French army to protect him and marched to the capital and had himself crowned Emperor of Mexico. Benito Juarez, who was Presidente of Mexico, fled to the north. Maximilian was an archduke and all of his relatives were of royal blood. Maximilian's father had been an emperor and his mother had been an empress. Even his brother was an emperor. Benito Juarez was an Indian. His mother was an Indian and his father was an Indian. All of his relatives were Indians and none of them could read or write. Maximilian's friends were emperors and empresses. But Juarez, the only friends he had were the Mexican people. And Juarez, the great Juarez, as Presidente of Mexico, always listened to the voice of the Mexican people. No man was so humble that the Presidente did not hear him. And that is all for today. Tomorrow, we shall study Benito Juarez and Abraham Lincoln and how they work together. Hasta mañana. Senorita Sanchez. Yes, Leonardo? Uh, I have to send a letter, senorita. An important one. Could you be so kind as to write it for me? But you write very well, Leonardo. For such a letter as this, I don't know enough. If you'd be so kind, you, you see, it, it needs big words. It, it's to go to Don Alejandro Vitigaray. And what's the letter to be about? It has to do with a cow and a calf. The cow was of my father. It was... Leonardo, it's done from the beginning. It's about a cow and my calf. The cow was of my father. It was until it died. It was given to my father by Don Alejandro uh, because, because one day at the Tienta, the young niece of Don Alejandro fell into the corral.
too old for that. It's time he was waiting anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Just playing with Gitano. Playing? You were working him with a cape. What's wrong with that? You should know better. No animal or nerd learns faster than a fighting bull. He must never be played with a cape. He will know where the cape is and where the matador's body is before he ever enters the ring. Then, when his time comes to enter the ring, he will not be a true straight charging bull as contracted for. He will be an assassin. He will be a murderer. It is against the law. But I don't want Titano to go to the ring. We can't sell him to the ring. Not now, naturally. But when he's four years old and has come to his full strength, of course he goes into the ring. That's what he was born for, son. That's his reason in life, to fight. But that wasn't my reason when I brought him home. Just a baby, no bigger than this. Don't trouble yourself about it. You'll grow out of it, so will he done. You'll see. Supper. Better wash up, son. They won't take you to the Plaza Gitano. They won't. I have unpleasant news. A letter from Senor Vargas. It's about Gitano. Uh -huh. Gitano. He writes that it belongs to the ranch. I am instructed to have it branded with the others. This is not good, Senor Palma. It is neither good nor just. I know, amigo. 
But what am I to do? Nothing. I will get him while the boy is still at school. With your permission. That would be very wise, Rafael. Adios, eh? Adios. Tomorrow we study the years 1816 and 1817. That's all for today. The class is dismissed. No, Gitano. Come. Leonardo, Gitano is not ours anymore. No. No! No! Is it true? Did they take Itano away? Yes. He does not belong to us anymore. They took him away? Son, you're crying. You shame me with your tears. Oh, I'm not crying. Where is he? He's amongst the herd, with the rest of the calves. Leonardo! Yes? Wait until after the branding. He's not only brave, he is noble. It's hard to lose such an animal. It is hard, Senor Palma.
not at home. You must eat something. One cannot grieve forever. It is time for bed, Leonardo. Si, sí, Maria. Papa, please. Can I go see Gitano? Can I go, Papa? Leonardo. My son, it is better that you forget Hidano. But can't I, Papa? Leonardo, the bull will cause you sorrow one day. It is in the nature of things that when one loves too much, one loses much. Perhaps someday you will understand. But for tonight, you may go. Gracias, Papa. What a burden of trouble we're accumulating in this. Senora Sanchez. Lunch is over, children. Leonardo. After Allende and Hidalgo had been killed, the revolution against Spain went on under the leadership of Morelos. That's very good. Who knows the dates on Morelos? Leonardo? Leonardo! I don't know. <laughs> All right, Federico. Jose Maria Morelos, hero of the Wars of Independence, was born in 1765. He was a priest. In 1815, he was captured by the Spanish and brought to Mexico City. There he was executed. That's fine, Federico. That's all for the class is dismissed. Leonardo, I have a letter for you. It was addressed to me, so I read it. But it was meant for you. What does it say? You read it. You know what it says. It says that Don Alejandro is indebted to your father and his family. It says the cafe is to be yours, as you and your father wish. Gracias. Leonardo, your books. Leonardo, clearly the calf is yours. Where is it, Dano? On the other side of the valley with the other calf. Gracias, senor. Leonardo. Yes? You better take a horse. I haven't got time.
Leonardo, on Wednesday, and the face, so clean. It's a holiday. So? It's the day for the blessing of the animals. I'm taking Gitano to Father Valverde. That Gitano. Next, he'll be going to confession. creatures that you have brought here today. And I pray that you will treat them in kindness and love them as God does. And this one, being especially holy, is doubly blessed. Son. Gitano's corral. Did you find him in good spirits? Not feverish or complaining about his food? Oh, he's fine. Not even a scratch on his horn. That's fine. Next week, Gitano will be tested at the tienda. Then everyone will know what a brave bull he is. Papa. Hmm? If Gitano passes his tienda well, uh, I mean bravely, then couldn't we keep him on the ranch as a seed bull? My son, he's a fighting bull. It is in his nature to fight. But if he's brave, Papa, then wouldn't it be better for him to pass his bravery on to his sons instead of being killed in the ring when he's only four years old? He would have to be very brave indeed. But if he's brave, Papa, can't we? Leonardo, when it was born, you saved its life. When it was taken away, you got it back. If the bull is brave, you may do with him as you wish. <laughs> Hacienda has been in our family over 200 years. Fascinating. To a successful tienda, to the beautiful American senorita. You know, for a man who goes around killing bulls, you're terribly nice. A man who kills a bull is a butcher. A man who fights him is an artist. And our friend Rivera happens to be a very great artist indeed. Gracias, don Alejandro. Call it art if you like. I still say it's very brutal. Alto! It's one of our bulls. Bulls on the highway. Very bad management. Sound the horn. Get back in your cars. 
Get back, it's dangerous. He's querying me off for another charge. I'm delighted to meet you, Leonardo. My friends, Miss Randall and Senor Rivera. How do you do? And now, may I ask the name of your friend? This is Gitano. It is the bull given to us by yourself, Patron. This bull has always been a well-behaved animal, until today when he attacked your automobile. This is what comes of giving animals away. I warned you. The fenders have been hurt. And the car had been blinded in both headlights. True. But on the other hand, it takes a very brave bull to inflict such punishment. Oh. Oh, he's very brave, Patron. He's to be tested tomorrow at the Tienta. Now, as to the injuries, Patron, we are poor. But I shall work all my life to pay for what this, this unwise animal has done today. It is of no account, Leonardo. I am always glad to see a spirited bull and... Uh, and as for the injuries, don't worry. I'll take care of it. You are serious, Patron? Very serious. But there is one more problem, Leonardo. Name it, Patron. Name anything. It would be a great convenience if you would remove your friend so that we may proceed to the ranch. At once, Patron. Quite abandoned. All your life, Patron, will be at your service. Criminal. Hasta luego, patrón. Hasta luego, don Leonardo. Hasta luego. their cape work with a female pair. Okay. <laughs> Maria, I've been given permission to stand by while the bulls are being tested. No, Manuel. You'll be hurt. Nonsense. Do you know who's up there to watch my work? Rivera himself. Rivera? Up there, beside the senorita. Salud. She pays more attention to him than to Don Alejandro. Is that why you want to be a matador, Manuel? So rich girls will admire you? I want not a rich girls. I want only you. And to be like him, the greatest bullfighter since Joselito. And Joselito was killed. Gaona, then. Gaona was the greatest of them all. And he still lives. And his whole body full of scars. Scars. They are the glory of Mexico. We are cruel to the bull. Yet here at the tienta, as you will see, we simply test the two-year-old animals for their courage. The bull takes the peak only once, and in three days, he has healed completely. I'm afraid we're just not used to it. <laughs> My dear senorita, 
The Americans knock each other senseless in the prize ring, and that is not true. Cool. Forty Englishmen and a hundred dogs hound down a little fox, and that isn't cruel. Only the bullfight is cruel, or is it? Well, the way you say it sounds reasonable enough, but still to an American... I grant you an American wouldn't understand. We Mexicans are a different and older race. We know there is pain in our life, and that death is never very far away. <laughs> but you, your people are always outraged at pain, and as for death, I think you may pass a law against it any day. Alma! Si, senor. The first one. Oh, I just know I'm not going to understand any of it. It's very simple. <laughs> now watch and I'll explain. There is a picador. He stands perfectly still because the bull, if he is brave, must charge of his own accord without any goading. Once in a while, they even knock the horse over, although that's very rare for two-year-olds. He is bluffing. What does we throw along without a fight? <laughs> Mouse. <laughs> ah, toro. That's no good, Don Alejandro. A little better. Señor Palma. No good, eh? They might do for a noviada. Oh, no, no. We couldn't send a creature like that under our colors. Put him down for beef. You mean he's going to be killed just because he doesn't want to fight? I think that's cruel. the vinegar I brand and no other.
Well, you have been able to go. Please, darling, fetch me a drink, will you? Yes. You find him interesting, don't you? Not really. Well, whatever choice you make, no heart will be broken. Here we are, champagne. What a lot. Señorita. Salud. Salud. Manuel, how is he? He will get well, but he will never be able to work with the bulls again. Maria, and Hitano did it. Hitano did it. Hush, Leonardo. I'm sick in the heart for Manuel, for his pain and his disappointment. But I, I'm glad for it too. Glad? This way, he lived with death for only a moment. But if he had become a matador, he would have lived with death all his life. Now he can live with life, and we can be married. And if it had to be your Gitano that saved him for me, and for himself, then I think I shall love Gitano from now on, as much as you do. same plaza, thousands of his admirers, defying all efforts of the police, are swarming into the ring and carrying him on their shoulders out of the plaza. pride in presenting our dear friend, Senor de la Garza, inspector of our school district. Friends, we come to the most important part of our little ceremony today. Three of our students, the largest graduation class in the history of our school, have today completed the first six years of their education. Their parents have sacrificed much to send them to school through these six years. And they themselves have worked very hard. I am honored now to present the first diploma to Maria Teresa Mendizaba. <laughs> the 
the second goes to Leonardo Miguel Rosillo. That's my son. And the third and the last to Federico Sanchez Ventura. Federico, come here. Just today it happened. Leonardo, bring the diploma. Look at the seal and ribbons. Look at that fine ribbon. His record, while not the best, was good. Out of the largest graduation class in the history of Mexico, is the third. The young people are smarter these days, Rafael. Yes, indeed. You know something, Luis? Where did he go? Leonardo, give some wine to Senor Lopez. It isn't always that we graduate. Señores, the auction of the Videgaray Estates will now start. Now, señores, this is a great opportunity to buy the bravest bulls and the finest breeding stock in all Mexico. Today and tomorrow, we will auction all properties of the late Don Alejandro Videgaray. Tomorrow, the prime four-year-old, certified and ready for the ring, will be offered. Included will be Contingero, Negrito, Gitano, Valeroso, and other sons of the great Valiente. These are the last of the Videgaray brand. Senores, come with me. The auction will begin with the ranch equipment. <laughs>
Diosito. Come home, son, and bring the bull with you. Two men are here with me. You must come. They have a paper from the alcalde. We had a paper, too. We're being robbed. Why are you afraid of their paper? Why do you cringe before them like a dog? I do what I must, like all men. You will not insult me anymore. I'm your father. Now pick up your things and come. be sold. That animal carries the vinegar I bring. Senor, you cannot. I forbid it. Don Alejandro wrote us a letter saying it was ours. If that's so, it's strange he should carry the vinegar I bring. Uh, Pepe, do you know anything about a letter changing title on Gitano? At the Tienta, he was listed as a vinegar I bull. You see? I'm very busy now. And the bull has already been sold. If you have the letter, I'll be glad to read it. Uh, I don't know whether I have it. It happened a long time ago. No brand, no letter. Very careless. Put the bulls in the trucks. They leave for Mexico City tonight. Here. We don't stop until we get to the bull ring? Yeah. First trip to Mexico City. <clears throat> you will like it. I live there all my life. I'm a native of Mexico City. My father lives there, my sister in love lives there, and my brother, everybody. It's the most beautiful city in the world. Paris is a slum beside it. Senor, you, you've been to Paris also? Certainly not. Now, why should I go to Paris when already I live in Mexico City? All right. We'll be there in the morning. Mind, no snoring. I'm a very light sleeper.
chamaco. Buenos días, chamaco. Buenos días, señor. We're coming into Mexico City. Here, take a look. There it is. Queen City of the Western World. What street did you say it was, please? The Paseo de la Reforma. You must be a blockhead, never to have heard of the most famous bullet in the world. And what is that? Oh, muchacho, what a donkey you are. That is the monument to our independence. Really? There it is, Chamaco. The Plaza de Mexico. Absolutely the biggest bull ring in the world. Gitano, Gitano, it's going to be all right. You stay here. I'll take care of everything. No, your case is not very hopeful, Jamaco. The man who contracts with his bulls, I know very well. No, I think your story was not touching. But who is he? What is his name? Well, Jamaco, he's Dr. Gaona, the impresario. A most vigorous man with money. But where can I find him? Downtown at the ticket office of the Plaza Mexico. Gracias. Chamaco, it is almost noon. The fights are at four o'clock. You haven't much time. Gracias. Muchas gracias, senor. All right.
Juárez, the great Juárez, as President of Mexico, always listened to the voice of the Mexican people. No man was so humble that the President did not hear him. The President? The President? What's the rush? Please, senor, where's Chapultepec Castle? Castle? Well, it's in Chapultepec Park, of course. Where's that? Uh, way over there. You can't miss it. Gracias, senor. And watch yourself, chico. is now a museum. Changes to Madero, keep right on down Madero till you come out on the Zocalo. Over to this end of it, that's the cathedral. But right straight across, <laughs> that's the National Palace. Gracias, señor. Por nada. Excelsior. Take you to the Plaza Mexico for our regular Sunday afternoon broadcast of the fights.
Sandy, you see, the offices are closed. Closed? But I must find him. Today, the president is at his home, Los Pinos. Oh. Gracias. What is it? Is this where I can find the Presidente? What do you want with the Presidente? It's about something very important. Could you tell me how I can get into the house? See the officer of the guard. Can you tell me how one can see the Presidente? I'm afraid it can't be done. I've traveled so far. Please help me. But I tell you it's impossible. Now, run along. <laughs> Repair the farms with great beauty.
is charging again. A thousand pounds of danger bearing down on Rivera. He plays this... for someone, young man? Senor Presidente? Yes. Are you lost? No, Senor Presidente. Senor... Senor, I have traveled so far to see you about Gitano. Gitano? Yes, it is the bull of my father and me, given to us by Don Alejandro Vidigaray. And now they have taken my Gitano to the Plaza de Toros, and he's going to be killed. You must save him. You must save him. You must not let him die. Senor, you must save Gitano. Father Valverde himself blessed him, and they cannot kill a blessed animal. They cannot kill him. Third fight, senores y senoras. Carlo Veras will fight the 375 kilo Negrito. Save your bull, my son. I can only ask him to and hope that he will. Here's your letter. Muchas gracias. Gracias, senor. Muchas gracias. You must hurry, Leonardo, if you're to be in time. Gracias, senor. And my father will pray for you every day. I shall need his prayers. Fight, 
señores y señoras. Fermín Rivera will fight the 385-kilo Vigano. Please, señor, where's Dr. Gaona? Dr. Gaona has a letter for you. Oh, please, have to. Well, Dr. Gaona, it's important. Oh, come on, quick. Such a bull. 
That alone is enough. Rivera's racing his own Magarillas. He begins his run. down the sword. Phenomenal. Tano is a truly wonderful bull. He doesn't hook, he charges clean, but he holds his head too high. <laughs> 
The blade cannot go home. Somewhere I hear people beginning to call for an indulto. They wish the bull to be spared. That's very unlikely. The only indulto I remember was in Monterey in 1937. Indulto! Indulto! The mercy of death is almost over.
little gypsy. Now we can live. <laughs>